I'm Caitlin from ESPI Metals, and for this video we will be working with molybdenum, or as we like to call it, molly. Starting with the 1000, so you can see as I let go of it, it can't hold its own weight, it bends, and as I flex it back and forth, it's easily flexible. 5000s, 5000s can hold itself up, and it's pretty strong, as I flex it back and forth, it flexes easily, but you do have to put a little bit more pressure onto it. 10,000s can hold itself up, flexing it, easily flexible, and you can see as I flex it down, it stays, and flex it back up, stays still, and you can put it back to where it wants to go. 20,000s can hold itself up. It's a bit harder to flex back and forth, as you can see, and as you flex it up, it can hold itself up, and if you flex it down, it can hold itself down. 40,000s holds itself straight, and I am unable to bend this back and forth. It is just too strong to do. Maybe if you used a tool or a machine it would work, but by hand it doesn't work. Now I will wrap the foils around this tube. One thousandths wraps around very easily, as you can see, and as you take it off it really doesn't hold the tube shape. Five thousandths. It's a little bit harder to wrap around, but it can still wrap around. Molly is a very springy material, so as you can see, as I let go of it, it'll just want to spring right off, and it will hold that tube shape. Ten thousandths. And the thicker you get, the springier the material gets. So as I'm trying to wrap it around, you can see that all it really wants to do is just bend in half, but you can get it to go around the tube, and it does hold that shape. Twenty thousandths. Again, it's harder to bend around the tube. and really it's just trying to bend itself in half instead. And the 40 thousandths, again, it's too hard and you might want to use a tool or a machine, but you just can't do it by hand. Hopefully this has answered some of the questions you might have had. If not, feel free to contact our office by phone or email. Thank you for watching.